Hello friends, it's me. And there's an echo. So this is my first video in my new room. You know, maybe if we bring it down a little, I'll echo less. Skirt! Oh! Anyway, it's the day I'm gonna be ruining your childhood. You're useless. Give him to me. Uh. <laughs> what the? What was that sound? Did he just moan? Give him to me. Uh. <laughs> Give him to me. Give him to me. Uh. <laughs> the sound that just came out of that thing. Your line was give him to me. Uh. Everybody knows that SpongeBob is filled with hidden adult jokes. And when I was a kid watching it, I didn't understand any of them. Squidward said I could help by burying myself. Quit fooling and come on out. I need you to be in the commercial. Wait a second. That's not his nose. Then what is it? His sponge sack? I don't remember this. I remember him pulling him out by his nose. Nickelodeon, you sus for this. Minions serve the most despicable person they can find. So like they used to serve the T-Rex? Oh, they even served the Pharaoh. Who do they serve in 1939 to 1945? Uh, it rhymes with Spitler. Nah, but for real, y'all got some explaining to do. Uh, this is suspicious. Minions about to get canceled. SpongeBob, bro, what hole did that come out of? Bro is porous, he's a sponge. He has many holes. This one just so happened to be filled with whipped cream. But serving it to the customers? Did he like it though? Oh, y'all remember Johnny Bravo? I grew up on Johnny Bravo. This show was hilarious. In case of evil clown, pull string. Sounds good to me. Oh, honk. Whoa, is that a blow up dog? It's a blow up clown for sure. He gonna throw it off the plane? Oh no. <gasps> oh no, not my man Johnny Bravo. How could you do that? And he took her to the bathroom. I thought he was gonna yeet her off the plane. My man down bad for this. Remember the Goofy Goober restaurant? When I was a kid, I thought it was like Chuck E. Cheese, right? Until watching this again as an adult. It takes an alcoholic to know one. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. Y'all ever wonder what's in those goofy goober sundays? It's not just ice cream. No. Hey, that was a bullseye. Oh. Oh. Did I miss? No. You got them. <laughs> Right in the baby maker. I ain't even got none and that was painful. Why the Teletubbies on here? Oh, they got one of those like blowers. <gasps> I remember this. Even when I was a kid, I'm like, that's kind of sus. Before I even knew what sus was. Man, Dipsy throwing it back. Is this a Teletubbies mating call? Is this how the yellow one was born? I don't like this one bit. <laughs> what? Ah! I'm just convinced minions are just the seven deadly sins just packed into a cute yellow creature. They just be so down bad for no reason at all. <laughs> okay, y'all are reaching with that. There's a fountain there. Am I dismissing the fact that a minion would possibly do this to another minion? No, not at all. There is a very good chance that this would actually happen. Actually, where's the rest of the fountain? That's not coming from a fountain. With his overalls on? <laughs> hey, he just jumped on it! Nothing wrong with kissing the homies on the lips. There's just so many things in the minions that are just... Hey, he was caught! They gotta sleep with each other, right? Okay, those are good. Honey? What? What's that extra piece? Oh. Oh no, they always put in an extra. <laughs> we did want a boy, right? <clears throat> this won't hurt a bit, son. So that's how robot babies are made. You want a girl, assemble her. You want a boy, you gotta add an extra piece. There's a hammer involved. And a good thing they can't feel pain. What's going on? 
Pause, play, her head. Where was her head? His head. No! Her head was beside him, not on him. There's this, and then there's this. I think they were like this. Y'all are really reaching with that one. A perfect 40 degree angle? I can't believe it! A perfect hair day! I finally got my PhD! Oh, that's wonderful, honey. Not a single day goes by when I don't appreciate my PhD. That's great, Dad, but I'm not talking about a degree. Oh, neither am I. Why is she measuring the angle of her head? Does that have anything to do with a PhD? What does it mean? Urban Dictionary PhD. You know, whenever I don't know what something... <laughs> what? No! I didn't even know what that meant. Oh, never mind. They were talking about a PhD. A perfect hair day. I gotta keep up with the lingo. Y'all the Spider-Man dirty for this. Y'all ordered her to blow up Spider-Man play place. Why are you squatting over it like that? Bro double cheeked up on a Sunday afternoon. Like get in here kids. I am deeply disturbed. <laughs> what is this show? There you are lying in bed playing with yourself. What did he say? There you are lying in bed playing with yourself. First you need a thick chunky sausage just a little bit smaller than your head that hardens by itself is this a kid's show this has got to be an edit you get this for one hour that's okay i prefer you in leather anyway <laughs> <laughs> i'm shocked you can last an hour <gasps> <laughs> Olaf, that was out of pocket why would he even say that you know kids are watching this is, is it so the parents bringing their children to the theater can get a little giggle? That was a long time. Tom and Jerry had a lot of weird moments. Here's just yet another one. He's blowing cream from a pastry on the mouse. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what there is something wrong with? I just recently heard from TikTok that the blood in anime is censored in China. Like it's not red, it's white. Of all the colors they could have picked, hot pink, neon green, how sick would it have been? But they made it white. So when well, someone got blood on their face, that's what it looked like. Yeah, that was supposed to be red. And somehow white looks even worse. They did my boy Itachi so dirty. <sighs> this was a mistake. <laughs> Who wants to get fixed? Oh. <laughs> oh no, not the robot dog. And because him getting fixed is not gonna make him better. Don't worry, they just gotta chop your robot balls off. Hey, that's a human dog problem. Robots can't even like reproduce in the first place. Robots have a child, go to the nearest scrapyard, gather some pieces of metal and like put them together like a Lego. Congratulations, you built a son. So we got this line of babies, it's like an assembly line where they give them their pacifiers and this machine just like shoves a pacifier in their mouth. Whoa! Oh, whoo! Oh man, that was a close one. Otherwise, we would have had a PR disaster on our hands. Still, sus. Bye Squidward! Bye Mr. Krabs! Bye Squidward. You said bye Squidward twice. I like Squidward. <laughs> I like Squidward. Oh, you got a little crush? Bye, Squidward. You know, someone somewhere in this world has a fan page dedicated to shipping SpongeBob and Squidward. I don't like it. You might not like it, but it exists. Oh, it's even a Google term. Oh, you don't want to see the Google images for this. Anyone else ship SpongeBob and Squidward? Even just a little bit? No! Why does everybody ship Squid Bob? I'm not hearing anyone out. We're going straight to therapy. Okay, this one was one I actually understood. He is so intently watching the sea anemone. -an it was doing a little dancey dance, and then Gary walks in, and then suddenly changes it to football. Hmm, I wonder what was so bad about the sea anemone. -an doing a little dancey dance. Are you ashamed? Do you have something to hide? But 